We've all been there. It's nighttime, a little bit after dinner. You're sitting on the couch. You've eaten your meal. You're not genuinely hungry, but the cravings start. And, you know, you just sometimes you just find yourself giving in and you're almost like a zombie. You know, you go up to the kitchen, you grab whatever your vice is, whether it's chips, cookies, cereal, whatever it is, and you just start almost mindlessly eating the stuff. Um, you know, before you know it, it's like a thousand, fifteen hundred calories later, and you're just like, oh my God, what did I just do? We've all done it, guys, and anyone who tells you they hasn't is lying because they definitely have. But I have a simple idea for you. I have a couple ideas, but the first one is that what you should do to prevent this from happening again to you is leave the room. I think sometimes we have these mental associations with food and eating and habits. And if you find yourself constantly having these cravings on the couch, get up, go to another room, you know, take the dog on a walk, go up to the computer, go somewhere else where you don't have that association and give it time. Okay. And when that craving passes, you can go back, watch TV or whatever, and you should be okay. All right. There's another thing you can do. And something that I do sometimes, it sounds kind of stupid, but I, I sometimes will say to myself, all right, if you really want to have this, you need to eat a cup of egg whites scrambled before you have it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I eat a lot of egg whites and that does not sound that appealing to me. So typically that's how I decipher if I'm genuinely hungry or if I'm not, because if I'm hungry, I'll allow myself the egg whites. But if I'm not, then I know it's just a craving and it's just got to pass. So Quick tip for you guys today, get up, walk, leave the room, okay, to prevent those, beat those cravings, prevent those cheat meals from happening, and live to fight another day. And I'll just leave you guys with, when you do beat those cheat meals, it's so hard, guys, it is so hard, and look, you're not always going to win, but when you do, just remember how good it feels the next morning to get up and know that you're in control of your body in your fitness goals, and nothing can stop you. All right, guys, quick one for you today. Please, please, please go to our Instagram page. Go to my Snapchat page. Links are below. Also, guys, if you love this MetaDicted t-shirt here, you can buy this online at our website, www.metabolicmeltdown.com. And let me just tell you this. All of our apparel is tight, and especially for you guys, it's tight in all the right places, and it's loose in all the right places. So it's going to make your shoulders and traps look jacked, and it's a little looser around the waistline. So you'll look good. All right, guys. Have a great day. And please, if you would like to see any other video topics covered, I'm all yours. For more information or to sign up for a free trial, go to metabolicmeltdown.com and get met addicted.